Hey, what's up Aquamigos? Thank you guys for joining me today. If you saw my last video, I finished filling all of these gaps between the bricks on the top of the pond. And in today's video, we're going to be doing some stucco. And I was trying to think of the best way to do this. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start with the inside lip of the pond. And what I mean is all of this. I want to make the whole inside of these bricks completely smooth all the way around. And then after that, I'll go ahead and do the side and the top. So let's go ahead and get started. As usual, there is some prep work involved before applying the stucco. And by the way, I'm not a stucco expert by any means. I've only done it once before in my life. And that was when I stuccoed the retaining wall of this pond. And now I'll be doing the top part of the retaining wall. By the way, I just wanted to mention this thing right here that I'm using is just a water sprayer. I'm just spraying down the bricks before I apply the stucco. And by the way, I probably should have worn a mask while mixing the stucco. There's fiberglass and probably a bunch of other stuff in there that you shouldn't breathe in. And as you'll see, when I started applying the stucco, I quickly realized that I needed to mask off the pond liner as to not get stucco on it. So right off the bat, things weren't really going according to plan because I had already mixed the stucco and now I needed to spend time applying the masking tape. And as you'll see in a second, I didn't want the stucco to dry, so I ended up just applying it to the top of the bricks, even though I didn't really want to yet. And I hadn't really thought about how I wanted the top to look, so I tried floating it with a sponge to try to get a grainy texture out of it, but I didn't really like how it looked, so then I just tried smoothening it out, and I wasn't really crazy about how that looked either. I was able to use up all the stucco that I had mixed up, and of course I had to remove that masking tape before the stucco dried. So anyways, this is how the stucco looked the next day after it had dried, and I don't think it looks terrible, but it wasn't really what I wanted it to look like, so I do think that I might come back and try to like fix it, but either way I decided to move on and try to do the rest of the pond. By the way guys, I just wanted to mention really quick that in my last video, I was talking about how we were expecting like a tropical storm or a hurricane here in the Los Angeles area where I live. So I just thought I would give you guys an update and let you know that by the time the storm got to like where I live, it had died down significantly so it really wasn't that bad where I live. It was basically just a little windy and we had some rain and I think it only lasted about two days. It really wasn't that bad at all, we were really lucky. The only thing it really did is, is it made a huge mess with like the pine needles from the trees. There was pine needles all over the backyard, it was pretty crazy, but luckily that's all that happened. It, it really wasn't bad at all. And another thing I just wanted to talk about real quick, because I'm sure there are people wondering, um, why I didn't wait until this stage to just stucco the entire wall. And the reason for that is, originally, I wasn't planning on stuccoing the top of the wall. I was only going to do the side of the wall, the part that you saw that's already finished. And then I was planning on doing some kind of more decorative bricks or maybe some like pavers on the top of the wall. And what ended up happening is I wasn't actually able to find pavers that I kind of liked the look of. Or if I was able to find bricks or pavers that I liked the look of, they ended up not being the right size for the top of my wall. So instead I just decided to get these kind of standard concrete wall toppers. And of course they don't look great, so I decided I would just stucco them like the rest of the wall. So this was kind of like an afterthought, this wasn't my original idea. 
But anyways, this is kind of the solution I came up with. And hopefully it'll look good when I'm finished. Alright guys, so once again, this is what the stucco looked like after it was dry the next day. And as you can see, now we have a completely different texture of stucco than what we have on the front side of the wall that I did first. So not exactly the ideal situation. So here I'm just masking off this corner over here where I hadn't applied stucco yet. And then of course on the other side of the pond, I'm going to mask off the rest of the pond liner on this side as well. And now we are on the third day of doing stucco. I was only coming out in the later afternoons to work on the pond because it was just so hot during the day. I wasn't able to uh, come out and work on the pond. So I'm just mixing up some more stucco and getting ready to tackle these two areas. So I finally kind of settled on the texture that I want on the third day. Um, how I'm going to get that texture on the parts that I already did, I'm not 100% sure. I might just try to overlay a thin coat of stucco on the parts that I already did. And as you can see, I'm kind of doing the, the textured finish with the sponge. I think it was the easiest way that I could get a more uniform and consistent texture. And I think it also matched the side of the wall as well. So yeah, the plan was just to uh, float the sponge to kind of give it that grainy textured look. And then of course, you know, I had to take off the masking tape and yeah, that's about it. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looked like the next day. And this is how it all looked after it was dry. And it looks like I'm going to have to make one more video just finishing up the stucco. And as usual guys, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. If you would like to see more of my pond build progress in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.